guys, Cindy out of here with My Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? It is morning. As you can tell, this is the best time I do when I I want to create. I, I just need to get up in the morning and do it because it's the best part of my day in more ways than one. Uh, we're here today to talk about um, chronic pain ABCs. And today, let's see, we are on... V, the letter V. All right, I'm going to set this aside. Somebody, <clears throat> one of my friends said that when I'm all done, I should take this <laughs> and put it in a ponytail to hold it up because <laughs> it looks like a, you know, a troll. But anyways, yeah, that was kind of funny. All right, so let's set that aside. So we are on our V. Um, I have just some pages of a phone book here that I want to do some painting on, so... We're going to do that. So, V. Hmm. You guys are thinking, what is she going to come up with for V? Well, there's actually quite a few words uh, that came up, and a couple of them is why I got out the paints I did, which I'll show you those in a moment. Right now, I'm just, this is my scrap box, and I'm just grabbing some different papers out. I kind of want to do this just my, I don't want to call it traditional, but the normal way I would make, you know, like a journal page or something of that nature. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to put that on there. Um, yeah, here's some more of it. We'll use that. So I just thought I'd, you know, grab through my scraps and see if there was any little bits and pieces that I could put down just, just because. And there's a few in here, so... All right, so let's start out with our bad words. Uh, the very first one I thought of when I when I saw the V was vampire. And when I say that, I mean, how many times do we have to give blood? And give blood, and give blood, and give more blood, and, you know, have this test done, and have that test done, and, you know... As far as I'm concerned, it's like vampires stick needles in you, which happens to be their teeth, but needles, I'm tired of it. I am tired. I don't know. It must be I wanted to keep that M&M bag. <laughs> these weren't that good. I love white chocolate. I was not happy with these, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah, that was the first word that came to mind was vampire. And... You know, it's because of the testing. I'm tired. I'm tired of being a pincushion. I'm sick of it. I don't, you know, I actually um, went to the doctors yesterday and we were talking about, you know, any further treatment in the future. And she's like, well, you know, we have to start with the pain management. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And what would they do? Oh, well, they want you to, you know, consider shots and consider, you know, um, injection. And uh, yeah same thing injection to consider injections and then also to consider um like putting things in your body for example um like the spinal cord stimulator you know i'm sorry i don't want a battery in my body it's just it, it's a personal thing i know some people said it works wonderful they've gotten their lives back blah 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 um, I've also heard other people say that thing doesn't work for nothing. Don't do it. You're going to end up in more trouble than you're in already. So, you know, I've had to look at it as a personal preference. And at this point, like I said, I don't want, I really don't want a battery in my body because the spinal cord stimulators, from what I understand, from what I was told by my doctors, is um, there's a couple different kinds and again this was quite a few years ago and I haven't looked into it since and I, I don't intend to but um, one of the things they said is you know you have to charge the batteries okay so when you've got this implanted on you how do you charge the batteries oh you sit on a little charger every night now I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not a robot so. I'm not going to sit on a charger every night. I just, there's something about that whole idea. It just really uh, unhinges me, I guess, as you want to say. I don't like it. I just don't like the whole idea. So that's not going to happen. But anyways, back to our V words. Um, you know, like I said, vampire. I just, I'm tired of the testing, tired of the poking, tired of the prodding. That's just, it's enough. 
So that's my first V word. Um, another one is vicious. And I say vicious because, you know, there are times when I feel I'm, I'm in so much pain that I, I just, it's vicious. How else can I say it? It's, it's not fun. It's, um, it's hard. The pain gets so intense that I just, I want to cut my leg off. Or, um, I want to bang my head against the wall so I don't, until I don't feel anything anymore. That's just part of the viciousness of the chronic pain cycles. Um, another one, let's see, vibrate. Um, unfortunately, I've been having these really weird um, muscle spasms and they happen in areas that I don't expect them to be. And if you've never had a pelvic floor um, muscle spasm, let me tell you, it, it wakes you up. Um, it's not fun. I'm going to put a little bit of this metallic. Um, just what I've got here is I've got an array of paints. This is a color shift. Um, this one is red flash. This is deco art, just white, snow, totan titanium white. Apple barrel, bright magenta. This is a artist law fluid acrylic in crimson. And this is just a metallic uh, white. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on here just to play around with the colors and, you know. I was going to do a sponge, but you know what? I don't want to. I want to do my finger. So yeah, um, vibrating. The, the pelvic floor muscle spasms, they do cause a vibration, um, which is not fun. You know, I would love to say, oh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel bad at all. No, it hurts. Um, and the, the vibrations from that and then from the pain itself, um, it gets difficult. It gets, it gets hard. It gets um, difficult to manage. Now, with all of that being said, um, I've got another word, but you know what? I'm going to dry this first real quick, and I'll be right back. Pretty well dry. Now, I just want to take um, a couple stencils here. This is just the white. I want to throw a little bit of texture down on the background here. Nothing crazy, just something different. So yeah, so the first, you know, like I said, um, we talked about that uh, vicious and, and how vicious it can be and the vibrating. And the last one I have on the bad side, and I, you know, I say bad side, but is it really bad? I'm not really sure. And that is vulnerable. Um, when I'm in a lot of pain, I am very susceptible, is that the word? I can't say it right, uh, to other people's moods and to my own moods. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very vulnerable when it comes to uh, maybe not taking something the way it was meant or um, just not hearing what was actually said but making my own conclusion, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, when I'm in a lot of pain, uh, to be honest with you, I'm grumpy. I don't... It, it's very difficult. The pain like that is difficult. You know what? I've been working on this and I have no idea what I'm going to do on top of it. Isn't that something? Um... I just started with the background and now I'm looking for my marker. There is my marker. I gotta find some more of these king size Sharpies. I haven't seen any in quite a while. I'll have to go look and maybe it's because I haven't been looking for them is why I haven't seen them. So yeah, uh, pain makes me very vulnerable. Whoops, and we did that again. It happens. It's okay. Just a tag. Um, it, like I said, it makes me very vulnerable, not only to, um, I want to put this down like this, not only to other people, but also to, you know, the pain. When, when the pain gets that bad, um, it also affects other things. It affects my fibromyalgia, 
Um, it affects my arthritis. Um, I do have rheumatoid arthritis. It, fact, it affects, you know, just everything. Being that vulnerable with that much pain, um, yeah, it sucks. It does, it does. All right. All right, there's the front side. Let me, I'm going to stop for a second and figure out what I'm going to do with the front of this, and I'll be right back. All right, so one of the things I promised myself I'm going to do is start using up some of these. This is all just stuff that I've clipped out of magazines, um, whether it be, you know, a Better Homes and Garden or a stained glass magazine or um, an art journaling magazine, whatever the case may be. This is stuff that I've cut out of magazines. And I've told myself I need to start using it. So this came out of a magazine. I'm thinking this came out of an art journaling magazine or maybe maybe a um, oh cloth paper cloth paper scissors. And so yeah, this is what I decided I'm going to um, use. Do I hear a pucky dog? I think I hear a pucky dog. Hold on, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. My little pucky dog just came to visit. Um, she's such a sweetheart. So anyways, I've decided that I'm going to use up some of these magazine um, clippings. And so I brought this one out. What I'm thinking is I want to put, I don't like this green on there. All right, so I have an idea. Um, so yeah, so we were talking about the being vulnerable. And yeah, like I said, I feel very vulnerable when um, I'm in that amount of pain and just can't take it so yeah all right so I'll take this idea of things off here so if you happen to know um, the artist that made this thank you very much I appreciate it allowing me to use it in my collage all right, so here's number three. We're just gonna put this down here. And I'm gonna write the words on these little measurement pieces here. Not in any particular order, they're just, you know, they're there. All right, so I'm gonna write the words there. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna dry this up and then I'm going to, um, I want to get out some modeling paste because I need some kind of a texture on here. I don't like it being this flat. Um, what's this? Let's see what this is. Hang on. Washi tape with feathers on it. Let's put some washi tape with feathers on it. Why not? And you know what? That matte medium is still um, wet. So it'll just help it hold a little bit better. Why not? Because we can. There. Oops. Get back on there. Cool. Just a little bit of something, something. A little bit more matte medium over top of it just to hold it on. All right. I'm going to dry it up. Grab my modeling paste, which should be right here and grab my this guy I'll show you this guy and let's see well actually you know we might do it right over the wet let's do some stars right yeah i just want something on here just a little bit of something oops i think i just put it over the oh that'll work Why not? You know, feeling vulnerable is just not about the pain either. Um, you know, if, if you've had an injury and you no longer can work, you know, there's so many other implications of that, you, you know, between the financial and the just your own needs. And I mean, there's so much more to that. All right, let me dry this up and I'll be right back. This is pretty well dry, but 
got to tell you guys about this stuff. This is called Eye Zinc Diamond, and it's a glitter paint. Um, I got this at one of my local um, craft stores called Scrapbooks by the Sea. Let me show you this stuff. This stuff is really cool because it works really um, well, and it dries pretty quickly. So let me just I'm gonna grab the modeling paste off this stencil. Hold on. Get the modeling paste off first. Yeah. All right, so we got the modeling paste off there. So what I want to do is I want to go over some of these um, stars with a little bit of this. Now, it comes out just like paint. See? And what I'm going to do... I'm going to put like three stars right there. And maybe a couple stars down here. I think I'll put one star up here. All right. So, that, like I said, this stuff will dry quite quick, but I'm going to hit it with the heat gun also. Um, but I absolutely love this. I actually got it in three different colors. There's a bunch of colors. This is the Noir, Noir is it? Yeah, N-O-I-R, so black. It's made in France. Um, this is the black, this is the silver, and then, of course, I had to have the the teal but yeah these are really really cool I love using this glitter paint all right let me dry it up we're gonna put our words on flip it over and let's go to the good side I'll be back so it's all dry um, but now I've <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm like oh I gotta play more I gotta play more yeah of course now that I got it all dry this is some golden um, fluorescent pink I just wanted to drip a spray bottle right here I just wanted to drip some paint. So yeah, why not? This is our bad side. We can be vulnerable and all that happy stuff. Look at that. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do, flip some pages, and we're gonna start on our other side. Um, let me dry this paint and water up again real quick. And then we're going to talk about the good V's that we come up with. And um, I actually come up with quite a few of them, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now this side, I think I'm going to cheat a little bit, because <laughs> I'm allowed to. Um, this came out of a, I would imagine, a Somerset studio or an art journaling magazine. And I just love these circles. I think it's fantastic. So, And I've got the word find here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue it so the find is on the bottom. And you'll see why in a minute. Let me just cut this off. All right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with it. So let's take, I'm just going to take a glue stick. That one's sitting here. And we're just going to glue this on. <clears throat> like I said, I'm cheating a little bit. All right, so our good words. Um, the first one is um, I have is videos. Now, when I say videos, sometimes when I have to get out of my head or I have to get out of the head of pain, I will come in and either start a video or I will watch videos to get, you know, some inspiration. Or, um, you know, videos can even mean, you know, I sit on the couch and watch some Netflix. All right. So there's several different ways to put videos into your library of helping you. Uh, whether it be creating your own videos or watching somebody else's videos or, um, you know, just watching, binge watching a, a a series on Netflix. There's so many. Oh, it wasn't all the way through dry. See? 
That's because I used a hair uh, dryer on it. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So, oh, look at that. I like that find right there. So, yeah, that's where I, when I put videos down, that's what I was thinking because that seems to be one of my go-tos um, are videos. Um, another V word is, and this is something we all do, and I don't see any reason why we can't continue to do it, and that is venting. Sometimes you just have to let it out. And there's no other way to put it. It is going to happen. Um, we're all human. We're not supposed to, you know, keep all that stuff inside. It's not healthy for us. So, yeah, sometimes you have to vent. And, you know, sometimes that venting will actually lead to a relief of stuff that's on your mind and get you out of that mood that you're in. So, venting is huge, I think. Um... Another one that some of us don't like to do, when it comes to the chronic pain, sometimes you really have to voice what's going on. You know, we can tell our doctor, I hurt. But the doctor, I'm sure, has heard, I hurt, so many times. So what you need to tell them is, this is what happens. You know, when I walk, my leg starts to drag. My It starts to... Um, it's completely numb all the time, which they already know that, but, um, you know, I have problems trying to lift my feet. I, um, the, the pelvic floor um, muscle spasms, I explained exactly what it feels like. You have to use your voice for them to understand what's happening to your body. They don't know. They, you can tell them it burns, but unless you tell them it feels like I have a hot spike going from my tailbone to my bra strap, they don't understand what kind of burn it is. So use your voice to make sure that your doctors, your um, whoever, your nurses, your spouse, your family, your friends, so that they understand a little bit better as to what the pain is that you're feeling. And I have found that's a huge, huge help. Once I can voice and show them exactly, you know, this is what it feels like, um, they better understand. You know, they're, they're, I don't mean that they better understand, that, but they're, they have a better understanding of what I'm feeling, if that makes sense. Um, another thing that, you know, we talked about being vulnerable. Well, sometimes when you're vulnerable like that, you almost feel like you're invaluable. So I did put value, value, I cannot say it. <laughs> you are a valuable person. You add value to life. All right. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm going to put in here videos. This is going to be kind of a one dimensional because I, I just love the looks of it. I'm going to put in here vent. I'm going to put in here use your voice. I'm going to put in here that you are valuable. And the last one I'm going to put in is VIP. You are a very important person. I know you're sitting there shaking your head going, yeah, 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 whatever. No, it's true. You think about just in everyday life how many people your life affects. Whether it be your child, your parents, your kids, your grandparents, your spouse, your co-workers, your boss, the grocery man. Um, Everywhere you go, a little bit of you makes you a very important person at that moment in time, right? So you need to dig deep and you need to find that person, which is you. And you need to understand that you, just because you're in chronic pain, doesn't mean that chronic pain has to run your life or ruin your life. And that's a lesson I've had to learn that just because I'm in pain doesn't mean I can't do a video. It doesn't mean that I can't spend some quality time with my grandchildren. It doesn't mean that I can't go on a trip with my husband. 
is it a lot more it takes a lot more planning it takes a lot more um, equipment it but it, it it still it doesn't mean my life is over and you really need to look at yourself and you really need to find that very important person which is you let me bring you down into this one see it I love it so I think that is my words of wisdom for this week and what I'd really like you to do I'm just getting a piece of fabric here or fiber hold on um, for anybody that's really struggling right now um, I really would like you to sit down and think about how many lives you have touched how many people have been affected by you and I'm not talking you know bad blah 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 I'm talking good things how many people have you put joy into their lives okay even if it's just a smile that is joy that you've put into their life so oops, there's my scissors so think about that and and understand that you are a very important person and you always will be a very important person okay and I just love this isn't that awesome so cool and here's our back side I like the front side much better all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them, you know, in the comment section below. Um, and as always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Take care of yourself this week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.